Hey everybody, Wanna Weasel here. A little after 4 a.m. Saturday, December 14th, we have introduced uh, Boomjet Magna Charge, Nitro Magna Charge. Gonna come in now. Uh, kinda changed up my strategy there on you, but uh, rest assured, Night Shift is coming. Uh, we'll just have to wait for a little bit. Gonna go ahead and introduce Gorilla Drilla. Uh, Something I can tell you, I tested this out just because I'm curious. And Giants, I mean, they would like freak out if you pulled your Skylander when it wasn't, you know, on the game screen, if you will. Nitro Magna Chart is on the portal. You'll have to take my word for it, and then you can't see it. Uh, kind of go ahead and pull him. And what I will do now is actually put Gorilla Drillo on the portal of power. What will happen now when I back out instead of it spazzing out like, hey, you better put NMC back on, you idiot. Uh, it'll just go into the uh, introduction screen for Drilla Drilla. So uh, here we go. As promised. Yeah. If there's a drill, there's a way. All right, my apologies. He's wearing a dorky hat. Um, this is why I like to do introductions before I actually, uh, you know, play the game. But uh, that didn't happen. Uh, rest assured, though, you know, like Wave Three, whenever it shows up and beyond, they're going to be introduced totally box stock. For a really good idea how the character looks, you'll see him on the pause screen in a second, but just actually look right there beside his name. That's best. Again, right here in the game, the characters are a little bigger. You're kind of more close to the action. don't have like this three-quarter view, but uh, I really can't highlight the coloring well either for you. But uh, Gorilla Drilla, uh, he's a pretty cool character. Again, uh, going back to E3, first time we saw him. Uh, there with the guys from the Curious Vision. I was actually going to get the names, and uh, Rob from Coin Op was there. And then, since I didn't get the names then, uh, it was literally uh, up until, you know, like we had like the official leaked pages of retailers prepping ahead of time, like so few do, uh, that, you know, it was a debate was it Gorilla Drilla or Gorilla Drilla? I felt like it was Gorilla Drilla. That is what it turned out to be, so. Uh, kind of, it flows really well in my opinion. Kind of unique and interesting. Uh, a lot of people obviously feel like he should be Earth, you know, since he's a drill, it makes a lot of sense. But uh, number one, that would like doubled up, you know, the swappers. But number two, I think when you actually see his upgrades, it'll make, oh yeah, you know, he's life. He just happens to drill, you know. I think it's kind of the way that'll pan out. Uh, that said, since we're already up here, uh, let's just go ahead and let's see how he jumps. Nothing too crazy. You'd think he might do like orangutan flips or something, you know, gorilla flips. Uh, you know, kind of like a uh, free ranger type thing, but uh, he's just kind of like the uh, primordial primate intense jumps. Really aggressive. Kind of like reminds me of Congo. Uh, don't know. I think that movie was like heavily frowned upon, but uh, it was basically like, you know, the, uh, I don't know, Planet of the Apes type thing. It was 90s, you know, go, go look it up. Look for that in my stories about uh, Super Solvers Midnight Rescue. That'll keep you entertained for a little bit. Uh, that said, let's just go ahead and kind of spice this up a little bit and we'll do the uh, battle numbers first. Primary attack, that's the Y button here on the Wii U, deal of 30 damage. Betting there's a 45. There you go. So 30 to 45 primary. Now secondary, it actually puts a turret down. I thought that first number was a 42, but I'm thinking it must have been a 12. Let me uh, try this one here. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so 10 shots you'll get from one turret if you actually let it expire. Uh, it does 12 to 18 secondary, and then the primary attack is going to be 30 to 45, so nothing earth shattering, but that primary is pretty solid damage wise. Uh, let's see here, we'll go ahead now, showing you his jumps, that's really the best coloring. Again, my apologies for the lifesaver hat, but you know. 
had to use him in, uh, I guess it was chapter one when they had that deal. It was like really super dark. I think there was another one we had to use him in actually. But anyway, I'll quit rambling and we're going to come in here to the collection screen. And come over here to the Skylander screen and then come across to the Life Skylanders. Right there, conveniently at our fingertips, is Gorilla Drilla. As you can see, his slogan if there's a drill, there's a way. So, really cool animation there. Uh, almost looks like Caution Cone Orange there. But uh, anyway, Gorilla Drilla, if there's a drill, there's a way. Again, he's life element, he's a drill. That's his ability in the swab zones. In the distant jungles of what was once the sprawling subterranean city of the Drilla Empire, Drilla Drilla served among the guards for the Drilla King. Every seven years, the king would select the bravest and strongest guard to become their leader. It was during the last selection ceremony that a troll mining operation broke through the ground above them and quickly snatched the king, wanting to know the location of the famed Drilla Diamond. Having never ventured above ground, Gorilla Drilla risked everything to defeat the trolls and rescue the Drilla King. In return for his bravery, Gorilla was selected as the new leader, but he instead decided to join the Skylanders where he could protect even more residents of Skyland. So, very noble act there on behalf of Gorilla Drilla. We're going to back out of here, uh, come in, go to Skylander, and take a look at his stats. Skull. There's a good look at him for you. I mean, particularly compared to where I'm at at this point in time. Uh, he is level 2, so the stats are skewed by A being level 2, B by the hat, which is apparently plus 15. I think that's why I put it on. It was a pretty good hat, at least that early in the game, I was thinking. Uh, initially, his max health was 290. That's actually pretty high for a swapper. Speed 43. Armor, 24, again, that plus 5 comes from the hat. Critical hit, 4, fairly low there. Elemental power, 25. We've got 5 life Skylanders, and we got the plus 10 bonus, so kind of adds up that direction. I uh, want to take a look at his upgrades. Again, all I can tell you, it does get confusing. Just know that everything I show you will be the top end until I tell you otherwise, so... Uh, what he has right now that we showcase does 30 to 42, 45 ish damage called Punch Monkey. Press Y to punch at nearby enemies. Simple enough, right? Now, first purchased upgrade. This is really cool. Uh, some of that B roll footage they kind of teased us with before the game came out. Uh, I made a specific emphasis to stress for everyone to kind of pay attention to this. This is why he's life element. You know, this is really cool something to kind of pay attention to it is called monkey call this is essentially his tertiary attack and you're getting in with the first purchased upgrade for the top end uh, press X to summon a pair of crazy monkeys uh, it's kind of left alone then at least initially second purchase upgrade we've got silverback press Y to unleash punches that deal increased damage and next up we've got reaching mandrill press Y to punch at a longer range. That'll actually be pretty cool. I don't know what constitutes longer range, but based on that box art, it's looking promising. Now you get to a point, uh, you basically have to pick if you want to go with the tertiary and, you know, the monkey master path or the drilling punches path, which is going to continue on with this primary. So, uh, first one we'll look at is Monkey Master Path. It begins with Team Monkey. Uh, monkey Call summons four monkeys at once. Right behind that we've got King of the Jungle. Monkey Call does increased damage. They're going bananas. This is one of those ones uh, going to be hard not to take that just because it's unique. It looks hysterical. It's got a lot going for it. Uh, just like Boom Jet... Uh, I don't know of like, I mean, there's no legendary, nitro, dark, jade, nothing I know. There might be a chase variant. Maybe they'll crank something out later. I don't know. But uh, if you're a huge fan of Gorilla Drilla and you want to take both paths, I think you're basically going to have to pick up a second figure. So uh, I'm in that same boat, sadly. Uh, again, I know a lot of people complain about the legendaries, the darks, the enchanteds. This is why I support them, because by gosh, you get to take the second path and have a different figure. Then if you don't want them, don't get them. If you like them and you don't want, you feel like, hey, I've got legendary night shift, I don't need regular, 
don't buy them. But for those people that want to take both paths or collectors or what have you, works out really nicely to spend the other $15 for something different slightly. Uh, as opposed to just, you know, like doubling up. That said, this might be one of those times you don't mind because that looks hysterical on Monkey Master. Bottom path for the top half, again, hopefully that makes sense, is called Drilling Punches Path. It begins with what they call Double Punch. This is, yeah, I'm definitely going to need another Gorilla Driller. Uh, press Y three times to attack with both drills. I don't, I'm assuming you would like punch left, punch right, punch left and right. Uh, we'll just kind of have to get it and see. Uh, next up is Primate Power. Double Punch does increase damage pow. So both of these top paths look really, really good. Uh, Soul Gem for the top pass, which you can find in Iron Jaw Gulch. That's the next uh, chapter in the playthrough. It'll be chapter 6. Rings of the Golden Monkey. Arm drills become shiny gold, making punch attacks do extra damage. So, again, if you're particular about colors, you know, you might keep that in mind. Might try to find it online and uh, see if you want to go that route. If you don't care, hey, more damage. And now, that was the top half, everything you saw there. We are now venturing into the bottom half, the legs, the lower end, drilla, the drill half, the base half, whatever you need to call it. Just know that this is the bottom end. So, what he has right now is called the uh, Planted Turret. Press A to plant a coconut turret that attacks nearby enemies. Uh, shoots 10 rounds if it lasts a full time and you don't press A again or take it away. Um, what was it doing? Was it 12 and 18 or something like that? Wasn't anything too crazy, but you know, uh, worthwhile I suppose, kind of accents his punches. First purchased upgrade is called Explosive Growth. This looks pretty nutty. Hold A to charge a turret. Release to plant a bomb that explodes and damages enemies nearby. Second purchased upgrade, Spreading Like Weeds. Explosive Growth Bomb Plants will explode into three smaller bombs. I'm liking the sound of this. It kind of reminds me of like Zook's Mortar, things like that. Uh, third purchased upgrade, Nature's Bounty. Press A to plant a coconut turret that shoots at nearby enemies. Press A again to plant another. So uh, those look eerily similar to like Shy Guys. Uh, like Shy Guy Cross with Birdo. I don't know why. Uh, and something else I'm familiar with but can't quite place. But uh, anyway, this basically doubles the fun. You can put down a second turret. So uh, headsets wanting to come off my head at like a 39 degree angle here for you. Uh, top path for the bottom end is called Coconut Caretaker Path. This is Coconuts. Again, these are some great names here. Uh, turret projectiles now explode, causing damage to enemies in a small area. And then the next one is called Coconut Mayhem. Coconuts do increased damage. Go nuts for the new and improved Coconut Blaster. That looks pretty good. However, I'm betting this bottom one does too. Bottom one is called Banana Blaster Path. How can you not take Banana Blast? They're making this too complicated for us. Uh, banana Split Coconut Turret upgrades into a rapid shooting banana turret. That is now a must have. Uh, like I said, this is why I wish there was like a second version of Gorilla Drilla, you know, but uh, as is, he is a character. I, at this point in time, these things to do like 18 damage on every attack, but they're still unique, interesting, comical. That's what I enjoy and look for, so uh, he will be a uh, must-purchase-again character. Go Bananas is up next. Bananas do increase damage. Delicious. I could not agree more. Soul Gem for the bottom half, which again is found in Iron Jaw Gulch. Adaptive Nature. All plants gain thorns that damage and push back enemies that step on them. That's going to be really helpful. Uh, again, kind of akin to some things we've seen with other life element Skylanders. Kind of zook down as Floral Defender, if you will. What we'll do now, back out of there, we want to go to quest. First six, pretty much basic. Defeat a thousand enemies. Eat 15 pieces of fruit. Don't take damage outside of story mode. Win 10 PvP. Big fan of this one again, for obvious reasons. Get to level 20, take all the upgrades. Do that before you pass judgment on a character. Uh, outside of initial judgment, that is. 
Elementalist Claw, 7,500 elemental bonus damage. Now the two, the three that you really want to pay attention to. Life element specific here, Defender of Life. Defeat a total of 25 undead spell punks. Main thing you need to do here, anytime you see an undead spell punk, just switch to him, unless you're like trying to get elemental bonus or something, you know. Uh, next up, Fully Stocked. Defeat a total of 250 enemies while at full health. That's kind of a carryover from... Uh, Giants, if you will. Now, his personal quest, Monkeys Mean Business. Deal a total of 2,000 damage to enemies with summoned monkeys. Obviously, if you take a Monkey Master Path, that's going to be a bit easier. Otherwise, you're just going to have to rely on the uh, two that come initially. But uh, depending on the damage they do, you know, it probably shouldn't be too hard. It's just one of those things you'll have to use that as opposed to the turrets or the punches. So. Uh, we'll back out of here, back out of there. We're at the pause menu. That's pretty much all there is to Drilla Drilla. Looks like a very, very fun, well thought out character. Uh, I can't wait for this to end because my neck is getting a creak in it. I'm trying so hard to keep the headset on. <laughs> but, uh, again, big thing here for me, Drilla Drilla. Looks like literally uh, more fun than a barrel of monkeys, pardon the pun. But, uh, man, I mean, that, like I said, it would be really cool if he had like an alternate version or something. Obviously, we know those, you know, because of you know, the 3DS version and everything, but uh, I would not object. You know, like, just even a special. He doesn't even have to show up different in the game. But bottom line, I'm going to be getting another one because those paths look too awesome to pass up. So it's one of those deals. I just want to have one figure with one of the paths, and then, you know, I'll take the other figure with the opposite paths, and then you can kind of, you know, mix and match, do what you need to do. But it uh, looks like a ton of fun. That said, that was Gorilla Drilla. Uh, I'm going to get some water. We'll come back in. We'll introduce Fire Kraken and uh, take it from there. That said, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. That'll keep you up with all the latest. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks for watching, and we will be back to introduce Fire Kraken.